You are being lied to and stolen from. And the worst part is that you have no idea it's even happening. For decades now, companies have been slowly making changes to their products and packaging, giving you less while charging you the same amount or more. They use clever marketing like new look, but same great taste. But in reality, this is to grab your attention and prevent you from noticing the real changes behind the scenes. So sit back and relax, as today we're going to be diving into shrinkflation and what you can do to fight back. Let's go. Shrinkflation has been a thing for years. Companies know that the general public would riot if large changes were made to their beloved products. So they do changes very slowly and quietly so people won't notice. So in the case of these Pringle cans, everything appears to be the same, branding, height, width, but if you look very closely at the bottom, you see the difference in grams. Now most people wouldn't notice this because frankly they're more interested in the chip than reading the can, but it's happening in real time. Same thing goes with these bag of Doritos. The right one actually looks a little bit longer, but in reality it holds fewer chips. 235 grams compared to previously 255 grams. Now companies will get sneaky with changes. As I said previously, they'll do marketing campaigns where they're like, hey, we've decided to randomly change our brands for no particular reason, but it's the same exact product, but a different look. And the old box will be like this, but the new box will be like this. And you're like, wow, this branding's fantastic. And you're so taken aback by the branding, you don't look at the grams or how many ounces are in the box. And it's, let's say it's changed by 30 grams but you're still paying the same price as you were before when you were getting more product. Something doesn't add up. And that's why they do all these branding and marketing campaigns so you don't realize. In the case of Gatorade, they redesigned their bottles to be more aerodynamic and easier to grab. But they also failed to mention that it holds 14% less Gatorade. Companies will continue to change their products. They will say that the economy is bad, cost of ingredients have gone up, and that the changes are beneficial to consumers but this is all to be taken with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, their goal is to earn money, and if they can do so by misdirection and cheap tricks, then they can and will. So how do you fight back and get the value that you're paying for? Well, one of the biggest things you can do is to completely disregard the branding because it's there to distract you. What you wanna look on on the box is the cost per grams and the cost per ounces because this is not gonna change. This is gonna tell you the truth because like in the Pringles example, Cans were exactly the same, but the grams in the bottom were very different. The other thing to consider is the ingredients. So on the back of the box, it will have the list of ingredients in descending order of quantity. So the first one, let's say you're buying a tomato sauce and it says tomato paste or whatever. The first ingredient, you've been buying it for years. And then all of a sudden it now says water and then tomato paste. And you're like, hmm. They've changed it, and I'm still paying the exact same price for watered down tomato sauce. Now you know, and now you can be proactive and not pay for stuff that is not worth its value in money. Another thing to consider is buying in bulk. So let's say that you buy your paper towels at a local store, and they've changed the prices. You feel it more because you're only buying one or two. But let's say you go to BJ's or Costco's, and you buy like, I don't know, 50 or something. You feel the effect less because you're getting more for a cheaper price. Switching brands is another one. Like I've said countless times, you owe these companies nothing. They will do these dirty tricks and cheap ingredient changes and expect you to still be loyal because you had them as a kid. It's up to you to look at different brands and see which one offers you more value and go with that one. Lastly, be vocal. Provide feedback, talk about it online, and tell your friends. Do everything you can to voice your displeasure with the company and its product. A perfect example, a little bit off topic, but in a similar vein was the Sonic movie. Now, when that first trailer came out, people went nuts, absolutely crazy. They were like, this is a rat that is blue. This is not Sonic. This is not the character from my childhood. Fix this. And Paramount was like, you made a mistake. We're going to fix this. And guess what? They did. And the movie went on to gross over $300 million. So companies will listen to criticism and heat. So do not be afraid to voice your displeasure with a company or its product. Shrinkflation is a subtle way that companies can deal with changes in the economy without increasing prices. The funny thing is, is that when the economy gets better, you don't see them revert to their better quality or larger products. So stay vigilant and let everybody know when you see changes. And with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.